How's it going guys? It's Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage and today we are restoring a BMW E46 headlight. Alright, so we're using our trailer here as a little work table today. We're doing this outside because we're going to be spray painting. We're going to need, in this case we're going to use a little wet sand block. You don't have to have this. This one is pretty crispy. We're going to start off with 400, a piece of 400 wet. And we got to have a little bottle of water here we're going to wet sand with. We're going to use the minimum amount of water. We have some Windex and we're going to use a microfiber and Windex to start off with. We're going to start off by cleaning the whole surface, cleaning the dirt off, cleaning around this gasket. We don't want to sand any dirt. We don't want to have any problem with scratching the lens even further. Okay, so we got a nice clean microfiber. We're going to start off by just go ahead and dousing this down. Not too much, but you want to get it nice and clean. And we're going to clean this lens, paying special attention to the tops and the bottom edge. Because what we're going to eventually do is we're going to have to tape around the edge of this. So we want our tape to be able to stick. And look how dirty that is around that edge. Really nasty. We'll go ahead and hit it one more time. Okay, I think at this point we're ready to start wet sanding. Let me go ahead and get this guy out. We may not be able to use our, we may not even have to use our block. Let's go ahead and try it by hand a little bit. We're gonna get our bottle of water out. And we don't want to just cover this thing in water because when we go to paint it, it's gonna cause an issue. So we're gonna dump a little bit of water on our wet sandpaper, smear it on there. And this 400, you can see it's taking it right off. You can see the dirtiness coming off on it. So make sure you sand all the way to the very edge. We're going to sand in two stages. What we're going to do is we're going to finish in 600 and not any finer. All right, let's take a look, see how we got here. Looking pretty good. We have a little more we can see up here. Let's go ahead and put a little more water on it. We'll wash off our sandpaper. And you notice I'm sanding only from side to side, not up and down. I'm gonna show you why here in a little bit. Make sure to get all the edges. The better job, the more thorough job you do, the better it's gonna look in the end. that and let's take some of our Windex let's just wipe it off real good get all of our edges I'll let that dry just for a second and we're gonna look at it and there is a little bit up here you go a little further and you can see a little bit on the edge over here. These headlights have almost like a clear coat on them. Let's go ahead and keep sanding on it. All right, so it came out pretty good. We got about 90% of it off. Let it dry a little bit. We got something funky going on down here. Whether you can focus or not. Right there is a little grainy. We'll go ahead and touch it one more time and then we're going to stop with a 400 and change a 6. Now I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes what we're going to use to spray this with. You're going to need a couple special things. It's probably going to cost you around $20 to buy everything to do this yourself. Okay, so we got a piece of 600. We already sanded this a little bit. I thought we'd better turn the camera on and see. But we're just going to take 600. We're going to lightly sand it. Not with our block. And that's going to take some of those 400 scratches out of it. We're not trying to take any material off of this. We're just trying to get the scratches fine down a little bit. 
Now we don't want to sand any <clears throat> with any finer than 600 because what's going to happen if we do, the paint's not going to want to stick or the clear coat. Let's go ahead and keep turning our rag, keep a clean spot on it. And this is going to be our final prep here before we put the tape on it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Get some of this stuff out of the way. We're done with our bottle of water. And at this point, we're gonna take our gloves off. We're gonna get a roll of painter's tape. Turn that mic up a little bit. It's probably hard to hear out here at the wind blowing. This painter tape is getting a little bit old. It's not very sticky. That's all right. We're gonna go ahead and rip it off and we're just gonna tape off that piece of rubber on the top. And what that's gonna do is just gonna keep us from getting dirt in our paint. doesn't really matter too much if you get a little paint on that but we don't want the edge of that clear coat to lift up in the future this bottom I don't really see much reason to tape in that that's not going to make any difference and we'll go ahead and tape the side though just to make it look nice and clean something like that it don't have to be perfect at all okay so let's go ahead and show our product here we're gonna use two different products today you can use whatever you want uh, these are what I had on hand this is what we're gonna use we're gonna start off with a adhesive promotion promoter promotion promoter uh, this is just a dupe color from O'Reilly's uh, you could buy this pretty much anywhere we have a aerosol can of clear coat this is truck van and SUV clear coat. So we're gonna start off, it's about 65 out here right now, so it's not that cold. We're gonna go and shake this guy up and we're gonna go ahead and coat that. Not real crazy heavy. We're gonna pay special attention to get all around the edges. And you can see it looks better already. What this is gonna do, this is gonna make sure that whenever you wash your car or scrub your headlights, this is not going to peel off. That is what you don't want. I mean, you could always fix it again, but you know, whatever. We're gonna let this dry. Uh, we need about a good five to 10 minute setup time, and then we're gonna come back. All right, guys, so we're back. It's been about 10 minutes. If you don't let this promoter dry all the way and you go to spray this on, it could fish eye it. I think somebody's coming over an airplane. Let me go ahead and pause it. We'll be back after the airplane goes over. All right, so the airplane is gone. The neighbor's dog's barking. So what are you gonna do, all right? All right, so we're gonna take our clear coat and first we're gonna do a tack coat. This little spider web on here will get off. We're gonna do a tack coat. We're just gonna lightly mist it. All right, we're gonna go and let that sit for about five minutes, let that tack up, and that's gonna keep the next coat from running. We're gonna do two, if not three more coats on it. Okay, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and do another coat, paying special attention to the edges. And let's go ahead and do that now. If you do run it, it's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and uh, give another five or 10 minutes and do another coat. Okay, it's dry. It's dry enough to where it's tacky to the touch where it's not gonna run. We're gonna go ahead and put another coat on it. We'll tilt it up a little bit. All 
you're trying to make it look wet. Now, you're not going to get it perfect with aerosol, and that's okay. Because if you don't, we have other options to make it look smooth. Alright, so you can see it's getting a lot more shiny, a little bit spattery looking. We're going to go and put one more good wet coat on, and then we're going to take it in, and we're going to let it sit by the heater and let it uh, basically dry it. Let's go ahead and do that now. Going a little slower and a little bit heavier. We're just going to make all that blend. Just like that. So we're pretty much done with it. Let me go get it dried out. We're gonna put it back on the car and see the comparison. Okay, so here we are. It's not totally finished, but put it up there so you get the idea. Kind of got a weird reflection on it at this point. But you can see it's pretty good. You can see a little bit of orange peel on it. And you're gonna have that from an aerosol can. The video probably doesn't do it justice. But you can see the other one, how nasty it is still. So this one, to get the orange peel out, we'll go ahead and let it dry. We need to let it dry overnight. If you try to wet sand it too soon, or especially try to buff it too soon, it's gonna ruin it. Uh, you can see a little better now at this angle. And to get it perfect, we'll go ahead and take 2000 grit sandpaper on our little foam block, and we'll carefully wet sand it, and we'll buff it, and it'll be perfect after that. Now, if you spray the clear coat from a gun and not from an aerosol can, you probably won't have to do that if you know what you're doing when you spray it. So it's just one extra little step, makes it look a lot better. Um, a lot of people will do this and they'll just leave it like that. It's okay. And it's a lot better than obviously that. And that's freaking nasty. So we're going to do that. We're going to let it sit a couple days. We'll go ahead and buff it and we'll probably go and do the other light at the same time and get this all done. As you can see, even on this E53, how nasty those lights are. E53 and E39 always does it the absolute worst. And let me go and show you here real quick. On these tail lights on the E53, this inner one is always real dull looking. And a lot of guys will do the same procedure on that. And they'll go through and wet sand it. You probably don't have to use 400 on these at all. Probably just go straight on with 600 and do it like that. Now I put videos up in the past of just wet sanding and buff them. You could do that. Um, the problem with that is you have to do it basically every few months. The sun will refade them. Once you clear coat them, you're putting another layer of protection on them. And once you do that, they're never going to fade out to that again. So basically it's once you have the product sprayed on, however good you fine tune it, however good you buff it is however good it's going to look and it's going to stay that way. Now, like I said, before we finish this up here, if you do run the clear coat, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you can just wet sand it back out once it dries and start over. That's it guys, hopefully this helps some of you guys out. There's a lot of BMWs driving around with faded headlights. Even newer ones have faded headlight problems. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If you liked the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.